this movie is fantastic i think thrillers are very difficult to get right and you you definitely got this one right how do you begin to tackle a movie like this because it seems like it has so many different elements in just like this very short hour and a half movie <laughs> thanks Jesus, for your uh, <laughs> your compliments I, I really appreciate that um well it always starts with a great script uh, the script of Shannon is fantastic. It has all the elements that uh, a good thriller needs to have. Suspense, surprise, anxiety, anticipation, excitement. Um, it has, I think also, or, or at least when I read it, it made me think of some of the films of Hitchcock that is obviously one of the masters of suspense, like Rear Window. And I sort of like fell in love with the script and then I tackle the script from the point of view of the protagonist. That's something that I always do when I'm shooting thrillers. I did it in Kidnap with Halle Berry. I did it in Pusher, the remake of Nicholas Winder's Ref. I like, and I did it with Shutter, where I put the spectator in the shoes of the protagonist, Chris. I like the spectator to feel what he's going through because ultimately I think that's what it makes the thriller more authentic, personal, because the spectator gets really to go through the right the roller coaster ride that the protagonist goes through. So it becomes something very visceral. And I think that ultimately the success of the film. Definitely. And in the beginning, you, there's a little bit of tenderness to, to the main characters. Uh, what kind of work did you do with the main characters in order to get them to have that, that type of sus uh, suspension of reality to believe that there is a love story going on there? Well, yeah, I mean, the, the, the way for the film to work, you need to feel that the two protagonists, they really fall in love because that is the beauty. They, they discover this amazing reality of love where um, our protagonist, Chris, meets this wonderful woman. It couldn't be better. It's like, it's the dream woman. It's, it's so good that it feels that it's not real. And in fact, eventually he discovers that she is not who he thinks she was. But it was very important to establish that incredible relationship, that chemistry among them, because only after that moment, you will feel the pain that he goes through, because this was really the love of her life. You know, in fact, he tells her at some point, like, I will give you everything, you know, because I, that's where I was. I really fell in love with you. So I have to say I was coming from, I have done romantic comedies in the, in the past. My early films were romantic comedy shot in Italy. So I knew that it was very important to present the first 15, 20 minutes of the film like it was, like if it was a romantic comedy. You need really, as the spectator, a spectator, you really need to root for these two people so they get together. And when they do get together, you are with them enjoying that ride. So then when the ride breaks, you feel really bad, like our protagonist feel. Definitely. And it's very light in the beginning. And then that intensity starts increasing and increasing. You did fantastic in pacing that. Um, it, what, what movies did, did you grow up with that the that um, inspired like this type of transition other than, you know, the uh, Alfred Hitchcock movies that are very famous for that? Well, I, I did have a few uh, reference when making this movie. Probably, I would say, uh, Misery. It was one of the movies where also there is a female protagonist that sort of like in our movie, it's kind of like a full of surprises. And another movie that it was a reference, only, I would say, every single thriller that I've seen was a reference. You know, so that's, you know, that's what directors do, or at least I do. You just, you learn from everyone. But for sure, there was another movie that it was also in the back of my mind, especially, uh, in the use of the music and it's a clockwork orange, you know. Um, there was a lot of elements of that movie that I thought that resonated very much in Shutter. Uh, sometimes I feel like maybe I'm doing an homage, maybe sometimes I'm just, you know, doing what directors do. And obviously having said that, there is also uh, Basic Instinct, Fatal Attraction, those are also reference uh, for Shutter, you know, where you have that very strong, uh, you know, sensual, erotic uh, thriller um, in the movie, you know? Um, the characters are fantastic. Your cast is amazing. 
how important was it to cast people who who are are very good at, at what they do? Well, it was extremely important to have someone like Lily Crook that you would believe that it could be an angel and can be also the opposite of an angel. Uh, someone who you don't want to be uh, left alone in a room, like it happens in the movie. Uh, same with uh, the character of Cameron Monaghan, someone that at first is presented as a tough man, difficult man, maybe, that you might not have that much sympathy uh, because he's, he's going through a breakup, he's getting divorced, and he doesn't, let's say, when, when his character is presented, he looks not something very sociable, uh, but yet is humanized, it's full of feelings, full of sentiment. And uh, two actors can really pers- uh, create that magic it's just essential for this. Really and the other work. big character in this in this uh, movie is the house. Um, that house is amazing, and the way you use um, modernization in the house in order to create it even more of a danger. Uh, how important was that, and h- how did you guys come up with that concept? Well, um, the house is a real house. It took us a while in Montana, in the resort Big Sky. Um, it was hard to find it, I have to say. We looked and we looked and we looked because it needed to have some elements and it wasn't easy to have all of them, you know. Um, a big chunk of the movie takes place in the house, so it was important to have a house. As you say, it's another character in the film. So once we found the house, we just needed to do some uh, small modification to the film to the house or rather the house to the film. I, I, we, need, we needed to do a little bit of both things. But ultimately, what the house talks about is uh, the, the house has this technology that is feels is very real. It's something that most people actually start having in their houses in the United States right now. No? And it's a technology that on one side makes us, makes us feel more secure and safe, but as it is shown in the film, sometimes that technology can be, can have the opposite effect. And as it can be a house that is supposed to protect you can become a prison from which you cannot escape. Definitely. Well, it was a fantastic movie. It was a great watch. I, I really enjoyed it. And thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Jesus.